Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, let's not forget to hit the like button, leave some comments below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way, you know Dream Team is out there when we upload new content. All right. We getting right to it. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Rob Palenka. Yes. The Lakers. Pulled it off. They pulled it off, man. Andre Drummond, welcome to La La Land. A piece that was definitely needed. Big Hunk, what, what you think about that? <laughs> I think that from what we've been knowing, they're missing. What, what one of the major pieces that we're missing was just an inside presence. Uh, even not not so much of rebounding, but but. Just a presence that 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 of a center that's mobile, mm-hmm. excuse me, that can actually move, yeah. you know. Um, although, and I know you're gonna get mad when I say this. Although I believe that Gasol, as the season goes towards the playoff, he's gonna get to a point to where we won't be disgusted when we see him on the floor. I believe that he's gonna. I think he's gonna be productive on the yeah. floor because even with before getting this, the, the, getting drumming, we've been complaining, not just us, but the, the, the fans, the L.A. fans out there, everybody's been complaining about, you know, uh, um, Gasol. But when you look at the numbers, they, they still got one of the highest rating defense mm-hmm. in the league. And so, I, um, but I'm very pleased with the drumming pickup. And, so, so ba- all right, because we're both excited, right? So let's yeah. dial it back a bit. He's on the squad. What does he bring to the lineup? Obviously, he has to be starting, right? Of course. All right. So, he what be there if he was to start? <laughs> oh, they lied to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does he bring? Tell the people what does he bring, in your opinion? Energy. Mm-hmm. A force on the boards. That he is. And see, he's not that conventional block sh- the shot blocker. But what he do is, he he gets almost two steals a game. And he's in them passing lanes where, where, where those passes, those in, in he get, he gets those. Yeah. So that's going to give us a different dynamic of with, with the defense. Because even without getting him, the big thing that we haven't been, and we haven't seen it all season. We haven't seen it all season. And that's AD. Even when, that, yeah, even yeah, when AD yeah. was playing, <laughs> We even talked about it on the show. It's like it seemed like something's wrong. He's always grabbing his leg. He's always grabbing. His leg. So he was never a full force, Anthony Davis. But, but although he still was affecting the game, so now you get Anthony Davis. Um, hopefully that he's he's fully healthy. You got Anthony Davis and Drummond. The rebound. We're gonna control the boards, mm-hmm. right? Not just defensive boards. The hit. That's yeah, a, he's yeah, a monster on offensive glass. Yeah, uh, right. And and the way I, I know we need shooting. We know that. Lakers need shooting. <laughs> and with the the shooting percentages that we're shooting, if you can get three and four more of those shots, mm-hmm. it's gonna help as far as as, as far as scoring wise. Yeah. You know, it ain't gonna help those percentages, but you get more shots. And so that's more possessions. Yeah. And Le, LeBron with more possessions is Dangerous. People, he already is controlling the game already with possessions and the flow and and the pace of the game. He he, he does it the way he way he wants. But now you're giving him even more opportunity to control the game by controlling the boards offensively and defensively. So what he the, the thing that he brings is not something that everybody's gonna notice because they're always looking for the big. But he's still gonna get his. I wouldn't be surprised if he's he's, he's still going to average that double double. So I'm going to pose a question. So Drummond, yeah, rebounding monster, right? Yeah. Offensively, are you running plays for him, or is he more of a guy that's going to go in there and you want him to get his points the dirty way? Or are you going to have him let, let him have some possessions where he faces up? Obviously, that's not his strength, but we, you also got to play chess, right? You, you're, you're looking at the seasons going forward. And you want him to feel as comfortable as possible. So this is the thing right here, and this is what 
um, most people ain't gonna agree with because we haven't seen that too much in the in the league. But when you got a guy that you can dump the ball down to mm. in him, right? You got the Lakers. Most teams, it's, everything's perimeter. Prime example, all these names that that the Brooklyn Nets went and got. Mm-hmm. They all sound good, but they all do the same thing. They're all shooting jumpers. They don't have that one player that they can put on that block and he's going to go get you two points or get to the foul line from the block. Playoff ball. You know, so when that game slow down in the playoffs and it ain't just moving and you don't got all those possessions, it changes. I believe that there's times, at least two to three times in a game where you can go and just dump that ball down there to, to him and tell him, according to the matchup, go to work. Okay, so another question, right? How does this enhance Schroeder's game? Or give me the pros and cons to that and Trez. Because obviously those two can't be on the floor together, right? Because with AD and Drummond, you can get some high-low action going. No, that's, that's what I like. I like what, what, that's perfect because you done, they won't be in the game together at mm-hmm. the same time. Excuse me. You would have, you would take Drummond starting, right? Yeah, obviously. And with AD. But when you take him out and bring in Trez, he's in with Gasol, who's going to be out on the perimeter. I got you. I got you. On the high low. And then that's also opening up his passing game, Mm -hmm. which is going to make the game, to answer your question, easier for Derek Schroeder the ball is not always in his hands and he always got to be the only one dribbling to try to create for everyone else because Mark Gasol is going to do that with the the back cuts and things like that and the ball is not always in Schroeder hands with a pick and roll but then it's also opening up with the pass because he's getting to the when he go back door Schroeder goes back door and Gasol is able to make that pass down to him right Mm. It's the same. It's it's the same as Schroeder breaking his man down and going by his man, right? The the big the bigs have to come up, mm-hmm. which is going to open up Trez, Trez which, which, which which we've been seeing going on now, yeah. and and vice versa. It'll be the same thing. You can play you with, with AD, who now was working on his passing game. And he's learning from Gasol. The same type of thing will be going on out there with that. And um, I, I'm just—I think it's going to take a lot of pressure off of KCP, and we won't—and and we won't be looking to be so angry at, at KCP. Yeah. So it's amazing how a, a big can change everything. Well, I'm not going to say a big because energy. Yes. All right. And active. All right. So they signed him today, right? They have Orlando tonight. He'll be at the game. Yeah. How how slowly are you looking to bring him along? Are you giving him major minutes out the out the gate, or maybe the game after next? Conditioning. And he hasn't played. Since I'm, I'm taking my. I'm taking. And that's the one thing I can tell you about the Lakers. They've been really other than LeBron and AD pushing them. I believe they pushed them a little too much this year, mm-hmm. and that's why. I, I, even though LeBron's injury is like a freak injury. Uh, from an accident that happened, but th- that's that's another thing. Being that we mentioned that, fret not, because again, all things work together for the good. And LeBron and AD being injured right now is allowing their bodies to rest. Heal that ankle, that ankle get. Cause listen, the LeBron I know just got. Drummond, he ready to play tonight. No doubt. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, right. but what I like about about the Lakers organization is they're being patient. I watched them even with Gasol. Cause they're taking their time with giving Gasol. And he don't never play big minutes. But even the little small minutes, they didn't jump off and give him straight 15 minutes. He cut off. That's it. They have an agenda. Yeah. It's the, it's the long haul. It's the long haul. And yeah. I tell you, when they come back, and, and you put all these pieces together with the two t- best, one of the best, two best players in the league, with Anthony Davis and LeBron. When you match them up with this, it shows because 
we we went upset and really feel we needed a, a, a deal, a, something done, because we actually see the team playing without LeBron and Anthony Davis. That, everything is so hard on them. Yeah. They are not those kind of players that 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 can. Do, it's all the pressures on them now. Your defense can focus on a KCP, who when he when he's when he now he's trying to drive mm -hmm. and break guys off the dribble. That's not his game. No, no. Uh, um, the same thing with 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 um. With Caruso, he struggles without LeBron and Anthony Davis because they set the table. Yeah, and and when they when they come back, and now you got that force also in there. I think their defense is just gonna be outstanding. This whole experience, probably the last two weeks, is, is starting to like build character, right? But my my thing is not even. I, I'm gonna pose another question because there's so many questions I got. I'm, I'm excited, mm -hmm. Lakers Nation. I know y'all excited out there too. Yeah. Even for Vogel, it takes pressure off of him, right? Because now you can shorten your rotation and not even feel bad about it. Because Drummond, because they were trying to do it by committee. We had Morris in there trying to defend bigs. That's not working. It wasn't working at all. At all. Mm -hmm. Trez can't defend certain bigs either. Like, even Dwight Howard was giving him hell the other night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Physicality. Right. He's for, he's up for the, the challenge, but he's just physically overmatched with certain bigs. Right. With Drummond, you got a dog in there, man. Yeah. You got a dog in there. You got that's a dog. What, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And then when AD is AD and on the boards, you got him on a – I think they're going to be fighting each other over, over mm -hmm. rebounds. That's a beautiful know? thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the thing that we're not talking about um, Drummond coming in and being this great offensive player because he's a type that will still have 20 points and 12 rebounds and you haven't went to him because he's you didn't have he, one play for him. Yeah, not, you didn't want. So it's not really a, a affecting your offense where you got to change things around for him. You don't. It, it's, that's why it fits perfectly. So he's pretty much scoring while adding extra possessions. Exactly. Never ran a play for him, but he got eight to ten rebounds, and he finishes at the basket. Yeah, and he gives you a little bit of lob threat, mm -hmm. and and he helps out. Like you said, he's not a shot blocker, but when we come like face certain teams like Denver, mm -hmm. right? And the Joker. Right. See, Dwight was able to use his physicality. Mm -hmm. Another body there now. Yeah. Because I, you don't want AD defending Embiid, and you still got to rely on his scoring. Right. It's the long haul, man. Yeah. And Drummond also, this is a contract year, so he got to prove something too. Mm -hmm. So he's going to show up. And if you can't shine with Braun as a bit, because he's going to set you up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the perfect situation for him. I'm so pleased. Yeah. Uh, they just, you know, I believe that um, I have faith in KCP and all of them that, like, in the bubble, they the, sh the shooting that, that they, they put up, they still need another shooter. We got a, They got another um, roster spot. Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to be patient with that. They have yeah. up until the ninth to, um, before anybody that was released can actually, they have to be released before okay. the ninth. And then they can do the signing. They can sign another um, a buyout player. Yeah, man. But I mean, where are you gonna find a shooter this time of the season in in a buyout? Nah, you're not find a you might not find a pure shooter. Not nah. a pure shooter. But so, but you I, need but you don't need a pure shooter. You need a, a three and D guy, right? Three and D guy. Yeah, yeah. That, that, a threat at least. Like you can't leave him open because right. Wesley is not it. Who? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, I'm, this is I don't know, but but this is that's that's another thing. You, Wesley Matthews, who been struggling all season, ah oh, man, this is the type of move that could even change him. We're hoping it's a different energy in in uh, in the in the in the game now, mm -hmm. and it just might it could just get him going. You yeah. know what I mean? And then. Like I said, they're, they're playing without Anthony Davis and LeBron James, so they're building chemistry. It may not always jump into a, a win, a to the W, but they're building chemistry. I think that Schroeder and Trez is starting to gel, yeah. gel a lot bit more. Now, so we'll, we'll see how it go. I, I, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too, man. Yeah. But listen, man, this, shout out to Rob Polinka once again, man. He... Is a little worried to tread that line. You're like, what's going on, man? Like, this is yeah, because I thought they was gonna pull that trigger, but I'm on, glad they didn't. Pull on the Lowry deal, 
on the Lowry deal. Yeah, in 30, hindsight, nah, that. I mean, it, it, the reason why I was even entertaining it at first because what we were seeing on the floor. You got a team. Let's get, let's let's let's, let's give the, the the benefit of the doubt. You got a team that's used to playing with LeBron and Anthony Davis. So you've been playing without Anthony Davis, and you've been playing with LeBron. Right, so, and he's still holding and keeping things. This is why when people talk about MVPs, this is why w- w- LeBron is always in the conversation. Say it again, man. Because I don't care. You could take any other superstar that's on any other team and take him off the team, his team don't look as bad as the Lakers look without LeBron. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why the fans – were prepared to make a trade for the entire rotation for a 35-year-old point guard. Wow. But (laughs) Palenka didn't pull the trigger. He didn't panic. Stay patient. Yeah. And now they filled the void. Not with just uh, an average big. They got someone who was a former all-star who who can actually ball. And I think he's going to help them tremendously, man. We already said that, but I I think Even more... Because as much as I talk about def- the defense, and, when, and it's strange because don't think that I'm crazy when we, I keep mentioning defense and then thinking that Drummond is the difference from his previous stuff as far as defense from his previous season. But Vogel is known for having centers play great defense, mm-hmm. you know. And even Dwight. Last year with Dwight, a lot of that – Sometimes Dwight would foul somebody, but that was the way Vogel wanted it. Mm-hmm. Beat him up, put that big, just put that big body on him. That makes them. We watched Joker actually didn't want no parts of, of, yeah, of the White House because of the physicality. He's just as he's just as he's just as big as 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 um Dwight, mm-hmm. and I think he's more athletic than Dwight. So yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm Drummond is more athletic than Dwight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, what, yeah. And, and, and um, uh, I'm about to say Palinka. Palinka ain't the coach. Vogel. <laughs> Vogel. I think that Drummond is gonna benefit for his from his defense mm-hmm. for being coached by by Vogel. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen. It's a great day. It's a great day in the NBA, man. Yeah, for the Laker fans. Yeah, a, yeah. a lot of teams they had, you know, they had their moment, right? They mm-hmm. made big moves, tried right. deadline. We we praised them. They did their thing. And the Lakers, you know, they just so happened to be the last team to make a big splash. Yeah, and you, you got to respect it, man. I think it's it's great because at one point, probably last week, a lot of people were looking down on them, like they, they may not make the playoffs, so they may be an underdog. Well, well, they look, gonna, we, listen, that, that, I never thought about them not making the playoffs. And well, 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 falling out of the playoffs, because if you look at the standings. Yeah, but they can. They, and if they do fall out, as long as they're in the play-in. Well, you ain't worried about right. it. Yeah. But the thing about it is the way other teams had loaded up, mm-hmm. right? And now you got LeBron and Anthony Davis coming back. And we already know the efficiencies that they already had before they left. And if those wasn't corrected then you have bigger problems. Yeah. Because one thing what we haven't seen, even when both of them was playing, was AD at his best, mm-hmm. and we didn't have playoff LeBron. And y'all know what playoff LeBron is. Yes, sir. Yeah. So once again, for the third time, shout out to Rob Palenka, Andre Drummond, welcome to La La Land. And this is great for the NBA, man. I can't wait for playoff time. As a matter of fact, I can't wait for the rest of this journey, you know what I'm saying, to see him evolve and see how it all works out, man. I don't got nothing else to say. What you got? That's it? L.A. L.A., all right. And five. Big Unk said it. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. Once again, leave a comment below. Lakers fans or NBA fans, let us know what you think about the pickup of Andre Drummond. Does it move the needle? How far do you see the Lakers going? Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you know. When we upload new content here at Team Sports, Rob Palenka, great work. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We out of here. Team Sports. Peace.